Hey guys, this is going to be part two in my video series on how to solve cuboids. If you haven't watched the first part, which is on solving the 3x3x1, go ahead and watch it, just because it's a good foundation for understanding later cuboids. But, <clears throat> in this one we're talking about the 3x3x2, so let's get started. Alright, so the first step is going to be solving the first layer edges. Now I usually start with the white face, so I'm going to find the edges. Now luckily, I already have one there that's the blue. And because I know the standard orientation of the cube, I know that if white is here and blue is here, red needs to be here. Now that's going to be mirrored for you guys because I'm using my webcam. So just for certain parts of the video, if it seems a little off, listen to what I'm saying, not what it looks like. So I'm going to, I, need, I know the red has to go here. So I'm going to look in this top layer for the red edge and I found it right here. So I'm going to turn the top layer to put that red, I'm sorry, to put that red edge over where I needed it to go, and I'm going to flip it down. So now I've got the white with blue and red. The white, white with blue and red, there it is. It's hard for me because I'm watching the video, but that's mirrored from what I'm doing. So now I'm going to find the, another one. Here's the white and green one. And so if here is the white and blue one, I know that the white and green one needs to go in this spot. So I'm going to keep my finger on that, flip it over, and here's the white and green piece, so I'm going to flip it over that spot and flip it down into there, and that put it in the right spot. And now I've just got the orange one left, which needs to go over here. And here is the orange piece, so I'm going to flip it over where it needs to go and rotate it down in. That's pretty easy and pretty intuitive. You just want to make sure you get the color scheme correct. So on a standard cube, if you're looking at white with blue on top, red should be on the right, orange should be on the left, green should be on the bottom. So now step two is going to be solving the first layer corners. So you're going to look in the top layer for any corners that have white, and I found one. And it is the white, orange, and green piece. So you're going to want to rotate the top layer so that it is over where it needs to be. I know that the white is on the bottom, here is orange and here is green, so it's above where it needs to be. And then you're going to, now, again, the video is going to be a little bit mirrored and backwards and stuff, so just listen to what I'm saying, read the algorithm that's going to be up here, and don't really pay attention to the fact that my turns don't line up with that. You're going to want to put the piece so that it looks like this to you, where it is in the top front right face. So you're going to want to put it there, and then do R. Now, for cuboids like this, R is really 2R, because if you try to do 1R, you wouldn't be able to turn anything. So I'm just because there's going to be so many times where R is used, it's going to be a hassle to say 2R every time. So just know that for every algorithm use it involving this cuboid, R is a full 180 degrees. So it's R, U, R, U prime, R. And that, put that piece right into where it needs to be. So now, here's another one on the top layer that got put up there. It is the white, green, and red piece. So I'm going to rotate it so that it is above the white, green, the white, um, red, and green spot, and do that algorithm again. Again, putting that piece in the top front right in that corner. So it'll look like that corner for you guys. And you do that algorithm again. R, U, R, U prime, R. And now we're going to find another one up here. So here's one. It is the white, blue, and orange piece. So we're going to rotate it so that it is above the white, orange, or the white, blue, and orange side. And then again, putting that piece in the top front right corner, we're going to do the algorithm again. R, U, R, U prime, R. Now we've got one last corner. It's got to be the uh, white, red, and blue one, and it is. So we're going to put it over where it needs to go, the white, red, and blue notch, and do that algorithm again. R, U, R prime. Well, R, U, R, U prime, R. Now that first layer is solved, and isn't that wonderful? Now the second, or the third step, is to solve the top layer corners, not the top layer edges. On a 3x3, three three, you'll want to solve the edges first, but this is not a 3x3. Three three. So what you want to look for is a situation like this, where in the top layer, 
you have the edges where the colors on one face match up. The colors on this face don't. This one's blue, this one's orange. This one is green, this one is blue. And this one is orange, this one's green. None of those match up. But these two reds here match up. So you're going to want... Now, you may have it where none of them match up, and that's okay. You may have it where all of them match up, and that's okay. If none of them match up, then it doesn't matter where you hold the cube to do this algorithm that I'm about to show you. If two of them match up like this, you want to hold it so that those two correct ones are on your left side. It looks like they're right for you guys right now because I'm using a webcam, but you put them on the left side. If you have all four that are in the that are correct, then skip this step entirely. Yours are great. Go ahead to step four. So once you have them lined up on the left side, you're going to do this algorithm, which is R, U, R, U prime, R. Turn the whole cube like a U prime turn and do R, U prime, R, U, R. Now that should make it so that if you started with none correct, then you have two correct now. So put them on the left side and do that algorithm again. If you started with two correct, then you should have all four correct in terms of the edges. Um, now, when you're doing that algorithm, you can do it the way I said with the cube turn like a U prime in the middle, or you can just do R, U, R, U prime, R, F, U prime, F, U, F. That way you don't have to do a cube turn. But I have found that that gets kind of awkward and it's just weird trying to do the F turns on this. So I found it's much easier just to sort of turn the cube and finish the algorithm. But what I really end up doing is sort of a combination. I'll sort of like start, like I'll do the R U R prime, or the, the R U R U prime R, and then sort of start to do the F. And as I'm doing it, turn the cube so that becomes an R. So it like started as an F and turn the cube so it becomes an R. But however you do it, however it's comfortable to you is great. So now the last step is going to be to solve the last layer set or edges. Now there's two things that can be happening. You can have edges that are switched opposite, or you can have edges that are switched adjacent. And you can also have combinations of those two things. So first, I'm going to show you the algorithm to switch two opposite edges. So it'll take this green edge and put it over here on the green face. And it'll take this orange edge and put it over here on the blue face. So you want to line it up so that the two ones you're switching are on the top front center and the top back center. And the algorithm is R, 2U, R, 2U, R, 2U. And see, that put the orange one up here on the front and the green one back here. So now I've only got two adjacent ones switched. I've got the uh, blue and the orange one switched. And now this algorithm is a little bit longer, but you'll get used to it in time. Um, so you want to line it up so that the two that you're switching are on the top front center and the top right center. I know it looks left for you guys, but it's on the line it up so they're on the front and the right. And the algorithm is R U R U R two U R two U R U R U prime R. And now we've got the cube solved. Now, you may have more than just one of each case. You might solve it so that you have two cases where you can switch these two and these two, or two adjacent ones, which would look the same. Or you might have to switch these two and then switch these two and then switch these two. It, you, you might just have a bunch, and you just have to sort of look at it and figure it out, but none of them are hard. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and say so. I think it'll probably be over here if I'm doing it right. And if you guys want to see the next videos that I'm going to come out with, including the next parts in this series, as well as other videos such as reviews and unboxings, please subscribe above. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.